Here at corner, that person's catching up, getting closer and closer and closer, right? Modulated that speed. Now we're not prepped for this turn. Whoa, buddy. T Breezy. For example, showing how important it is to stay properly focused on the road, especially when you can end up in an expected risky situation at any time. Swerve, swerve, swerve. Oh, thread that needle, baby. You could do it. You could do it. Okay, find the escape route. Good, 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 good. Now swerve right, swerve right, swerve right. Nice. Nice. Good job. Good job. Now, how can we prevent that from happening? Class, I want I want you to I want you to tell me how we can prevent that from happening in the first place. Now it was slowed down, so I wonder if I could speed it. Nope, can't do that. Can I speed it up? There you go. So I can speed it up to speed. I don't know how fast he was really going. Pay attention, slow down. Boom! You guys are smart. You guys, you guys are you guys are smart. Really good. Go ahead, throw the projector back up. Thank you. All right, here we go. So, line of sight. Try for a better line of sight, Zaraza. That's what I was about to say. So, we're in lane position two right here. Okay, that we're right in the middle. So, one, two, three. Now, lane position two is not bad. It's only bad when you can't see. So, this is your line of sight. You can't see around this guy. That's bad. You don't know what's in front. So, what? Nope. Go back. Go back. Thank you. What I would do instead is either be in lane position three or lane position one. Lane position one's more like over here where it's next to the line. So the line, basically just follow the line with the vision and you could see around, you could see people braking, you could see a big stack of cars up ahead. You could see over or around this vehicle, but if you're right behind the vehicle, you're not gonna see very far. How important and then we're gonna get closer and closer. Focused on the road. This means our space cushion is getting diminished and diminished. So there's brake lights right there. Brake lights are gonna indicate that this person's making a decision. Now think about that. Should anybody here be making a decision on whether to stop or not? This is the interstate, think about that. Orient yourself to the situation. Why are we stopping on the interstate? Inter there's no intersections, there's no pedestrians. There's no crosswalks, there's nothing. So the only thing that can happen on the interstate for, for braking like this is for one, massive amount of debris on the road, like a, like a tire or like a big fridge or something like that, but you know, with people in it, like a car. So there's cars stopped in front of this vehicle or they're going too fast and they see a cop. Three things that you should definitely be paying attention to. So if you see brake lights on the interstate, think about those three things at least. Okay, there's plenty of more, you know, oil, a bunch of stuff, right, G-Ride? So if we start getting closer, let's, this is us back here. No, this is the van, and you're, you're the camera. This is the van, and we're getting closer and closer and closer. Hey, our space cushion got diminished, but you see how big it's getting? Now that's what's happening here. Take a look. It's getting situation. getting bigger, it's getting bigger, and now we got to do something. We pick the right way, I mean, the right side. Is it the right way, though? We couldn't tell until last second. Now, swerving to the left would have been better, but this is the situation the hand were dealt. So what do you see? See your line of sight? You can see right here. That is what we have to work with, or that. So, yeah, you know, swerving left would have been a better choice, but we're put in a position where we're going to swerve right, okay? So we have to do it. How do we do it? We're gonna aim for it. We're gonna swerve left when we have to and swerve right when we have to. Now, what is that? What exercise does this look like? What exercise does this look like when we do this? Well, we're gonna go right, and then we're gonna go left. Straight line weave. Straight line weave, offset weave. Cone weaves. Practice those. It's going to, before you know it, you might actually need to use it in a, in a real life situation. And you, in emergencies, what you do is what you've trained to do. So if you haven't trained to do anything, you're not going to do anything. He's checking his pantalones now. All right, here we go. 
the back um, expect any obstacles in the braking car and so he made a quite a big mistake when in pan okay we're getting closer and closer and closer space cushion space cushion space oh panic braking ah oh, that's a panic brake yep yep hey you know it, i know you didn't want to do that but it did it happened so i hope you're okay it was a panic break. You're uh, you're getting too close to the vehicle because the vehicle is getting bigger. If the vehicle is getting bigger and bigger to you, either they're slowing down or you're speeding up. Now, if you have control of your motorcycle and you're able to, you know, never speed up, but then the vehicle still getting closer, then uh, it's because they're slowing down. So right here, here's the. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the size of the vehicle. Now let's see if it gets bigger. The biker didn't expect any obstacles. Dun, 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 quite a big mistake when in panic. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, not too much. So we panicked though. We we recognized it. Got a little bit bigger. We recognized it a little bit too late. That's what that was. It's a little bit of a panic, and they definitely slowed down real quick on you. Why do you think? There's a speed bump. A little speed hump right here. So they slowed down to go over the speed hump. We didn't recognize that was going to be happening, so they slowed down really quick for us, and then we slammed the brakes. So this is where looking far ahead, seeing uh, past the vehicle, being in a better lane position is helpful. So you see right here, lane position, and I understand you can't get into the far right because maybe there's a, so uh, you know, traffic and whatnot, and we're in our lane, but you can still maneuver a little bit within your lane so you can see and have a better line of sight. When, in uh, when something like this happens and they start coming up on you, don't slam the brakes. Progressive brake pressure. That was a grab. And that's what happened is that front tire locked up and started sliding, and then you fall over. So watch the hand. Smash. Now you can be quick. You can be quick on it. You can be riding. You can be riding. Here's my here's the brake hand. You could be riding, and you could go like, but you see how I didn't squeeze, so you could you could jerk and get to that. But what's happening in panic braking is you're doing this. You're doing that instead of doing that. So you can move fast with those fingers. What you can't do is move fast with the squeeze. You can what now? Yeah, something. You know I love having my phone on the handlebars so I can see what turns are coming up utilizing my GPS. The best way I think you could do that is using the rock form mount. I use it for my mountain bike, the little FTRs, and then also with the big boy FTR that I ride. And guys, links in the description for a discount. Check it out. You're going to like it, and I'll be seeing you around. Here we go. When I met this individual, okay, so back so he did a good swerve she, he she apologized very good okay good end of day so yeah got into our lane maybe try to beat the traffic didn't see us we swerved out of the way we had braked first and then swerved this was really good this was really good let's take a look at that again so let's go ahead and dive through it so we have traffic obviously we have possible path to travel uh, violations going on in this area. So we're riding. Now, we might be going a little too fast for the area, but this is probably the normal speed I'd probably be doing too. We see that side of the vehicle. See that red vehicle in between vehicles? Man, my eyes just pick that out so quick when I'm riding. Write in the comments if your eyes pick out sides of the vehicles very quickly. I'd like to know. I keep hearing it. I keep seeing the chat right now, and I see the comments about how, like, my voice is in their head and everything. I want to start seeing that. I like to see that. It actually makes me feel a little bit better. But here's the thing. I Join the Discord. It's absolutely free. Post it in there. Uh, talk to Speed Limit Challenger. It's a great time. All right? So here we go. Side of the vehicle right there. I see that all the time. As soon as I see that, I'm concerned. I go into orange stage, and now I definitely see it. They're definitely going to go into the uh, my path of travel. So I'm gonna start applying the brakes, okay? We're not applying the brakes yet, so that means we saw it now. So you can start rolling up the throttle earlier, so hopefully it can buy you some time. Here it is, we have our total stopping distance right here. We're going at this speed, we can't do it. We can't slow down and stop in time, so what do we do? We find an escape. Did an amazing job, he was braking to buy himself some time, 
swerved because the total stopping distance wasn't good enough, and we found an escape. This is what I call a success. If your situation awareness can't pick out that side of the vehicle quick enough, your fundamental skill of a red stage maneuver of swerving and braking, or vice versa, braking and swerving, that could be the thing that saves you if you're practiced and trained it. So this person maybe didn't see that side of the vehicle right up there. Didn't see it, didn't see it. Now we see it. Now we're braking really well. We can't stop in time because we know what we can do. We swerved and found an escape route. This is all, this is success. This is good to me. I love it. Love it. All right. He switched, uh, he decided to switch up last minute. Okay, cool. Here we go. Brake lights, indicator of something's happening. So watch out for that person. Okay, oh, switching last minute. Okay, we saw that ahead of time. There you go. Found an escape. Found an escape. Got it. Is this the same person? It is the same person. All right, let's see what happened here again. So we're switching lanes because that person did that. Now we're going to go back to here. And it's like, okay, this is awkward. So we're going to apply some brake pressure. Oh, crap. He's going to rev bomb, maybe dump the clutch so he got some power. But look at, there's our escape right there, the sidewalk. We're going to aim for the sidewalk. Did a great job. And there it is. But this is the same driver. Let's see what happens. Do you see how the rip? Bro, you were so close, bro. I know, I'm sorry. And these are my bright lights. How'd you not see me? It, you're not going to get a good answer out of that. Okay, he said he was sorry. He didn't mean to. He definitely would be upset if he hit you because he'd be going to jail for a vehicle or manslaughter. Um, but yeah. So we're going through here. Now, take a look. What's the thing that's going to save him? Let's go back. What are the three things that are going to save him? Three things that are going to save them. One of them involves your eyes. What are the two red stage maneuvers that save them? So he's going to go through here. He recognizes this. So situation awareness. Red stage maneuver. So red stage means swerving or braking, emergency braking right here. Yeah, exactly, Rain. And you notice how rev bombing did not do anything. Nothing. What saved him here was slowing down. There's the RPMs dropping. And we're starting to go towards the right. Okay. There's the rev bomb. That's going to stop him, right? Look where we're at. We're aimed straight. We're aimed straight. So we're going to hit at this point. Okay. So the rev bomb... Didn't do anything. Now what? Swerved off to the right a little bit. Now finding a skate path. That's really weird how progressive braking, swerving, finding an escape path is what saved him. Rev bomb didn't do nothing. So why are we wasting our time on that? Okay? Move on. Practice your swerving. Practice your progressive brake pressure. Don't practice your rev bomb. Did you not see me? I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, the accidental phallus. I love that you're using an appropriate term. Hey, come on, non-issue. Reckless Russ. Reckless Russ, non-issue. So we're going through an intersection right here. We got a left turner. We're not even in the intersection yet. So this is more of an ego thing. So go ahead and apply some brake pressure. Let them in, non-issue. Non issue at this point. So, Kiko Sphere, here we go. We're riding through here, a corner. That person's catching up, getting closer and closer and closer, right? Modulated that speed. Now we're not prepped for this turn. Whoa, buddy. Oh my gosh. Right, Jabari? Insane. So, it's another knee down Rossi guy. The end. I probably learned it in a parking lot. Um, because he's not navigating these corners very well with traffic. In a parking lot, you don't really have traffic if you have it all blocked off, uh, going in circles. Thanks for watching. So right here, you got to watch out for that. You really just got to watch out for that. We're passing already. We're doing something dangerous, and there's always going to be that bigger person. And, and when I say bigger person, I mean a dumber person doing this. And then you're going to have somebody following with traffic and almost getting hit. Just be safe. Just be safe, everybody. Please. 
Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.